Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well and I hope you guys enjoyed Tuesday's video. I know it was a little something different, pretty silly. We had a lot of fun filming it, but we are back talking about makeup and skincare products today because there are a lot of really great sales going on. I know last week we just talked about the Sephora sale, but some of you guys were also like, I'd rather support smaller or clean beauty specific stores right now. So kind of perfect timing because now they are also having sales. So I'm going to be detailing those sales in this video and then actually just playing with a few of my favorite products at the current moment. At the beginning of the year, I did a huge, well, I guess I shouldn't say huge, I did a makeup declutter. So really what's in my collection now is actually all stuff that I love. And then I just have like current favorites of the moment that I've been using a lot and I thought I would share with you guys today. But because the like clean at Sephora collection uh, was a little bit smaller, it was really easy to pick and choose the products that I would want. But honestly, from places like Aaliyah, the Detox Market, Integrity Botanicals, I pretty much love everything they carry, so it's hard to pick and choose, but I'm going to share with you guys some of my current favorite products in case you're needing any of these. Of course, all of my Sephora picks work for these companies too. I will link them all down below. They are affiliate links, so thank you in advance if you choose to shop with them. It doesn't cost you guys anything, but it makes a huge difference to me uh, because I get a few cents off of every dollar that you guys purchase a product with, and it helps me keep my channel up. So that's just a little thank you for choosing to shop with those links. I'm just going to leave them down for the general website so you guys can kind of shop around and do what you want. But yeah, so these are the products that I love at the current moment. Like I said, so many products from these companies I love. If you guys really need a lot of inspiration, go back, look at my earlier videos, my favorite videos, all that good stuff, or just DM me over on Instagram or leave in the comments below like, hey, can you recommend a good XYZ? And I will get back to you. I'm going to be on comments for this video specifically, making sure to get back to you right away so that you can take advantage of the sales. So there are three sales that I'm going to be talking about today. All are really great deals, but they're for different spans of times and they are different discounts. So you need to pick the one that's going to work best for you considering what you're buying. And also think about what retailers you want to support right now, all that good stuff because your money does go a long way. So starting off the shortest sale is actually the detox market sale. It started yesterday on Earth Day, so happy belated Earth Day. These are Earth Day sales in case that wasn't evident from the video title. So it started on Earth Day and it actually ends tonight at 11.59 and the deal is if you spend $125 you will get 15% off, no code necessary. It will just activate in your cart. I think there are some brands excluded would be my guess, but yeah, no code necessary. It will automatically apply to your cart and you will get 15% off if you spend $125 or more. The second sale that's going on right now is Integrity Botanicals and they are doing a sale that is if you spend $100 you get 15% off with the code capital Earth Day 15 and if you spend $200 or more you get 20% off with the code capital Earth Day 20 and that again started yesterday and will be running through this Sunday, the 26th. The Integrity Botanical sale does include brands like Osmia and Laurel. Those are two brands that I really like and they are both brands that are sometimes excluded or in that excluded brand category. Um, so they will be counted at Integrity Botanicals in this sale. And then the final sale that I'm gonna be mentioning today is at Aaliyah Beauty. This again started yesterday and will go all the way through to the 27th of April. And using the code EARTH, all capitals, you'll receive 15% off of your cart. Again, there are some brands that are excluded, like for all of these retailers, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, now I'm going to share with you guys a few of the products that I've really been enjoying. Go and look at my Sephora video too if you guys want some more recommendations because I won't be repeating myself, but those obviously apply in this situation as well. Like I said, I'm going to be sharing some products that are like current favorites or that I'm just really enjoying using right now, but honestly, there are so many products that I can recommend to you guys. It's hard to pick and choose. Let me know in the comments if you're looking for something specific and I will get back to you right away with a suggestion from one of these retailers that I know you can get on sale. I actually already have an SPF on. I'm using the Kipris Pot of Shade right now. Kipris is usually a brand that unfortunately is excluded, but I do talk about a couple of other SPFs that I really enjoy in other videos, such as the Suntegrity SPFs. Love the 5-in-1. I actually really enjoy the Untinted one as well. That's a more recent discovery. I liked it, and I didn't like it. <laughs> now I like it again, but the 5-in-1 is sort of a holy grail product for me. And then I'm also really loving the Ilia Super Serum Tinted SPF. That's a newer product. 
it's been working really well for my skin and if I'm not wearing this I am wearing that because I'm actually out of my Scentegrity so if this is not on sale if this is an excluded brand then check out those other ones as I already have my SPF on I'm gonna go in with my base product and today I'm actually gonna be using uh, an oldie but a goodie this is the Kira Weiss foundation I have it in the shade weightless I'm gonna be applying it with a brush and I mainly chose this one because I think it works really well with this SPF that I have on but a couple of other foundations that I absolutely love that are worth checking out are the Gressa Minimalist Foundation if you're looking for something very high coverage. I really like the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation that does have dimethicone in it so the Gressa Minimalist Foundation is another option if you are not doing dimethicone. I also have really been enjoying the Vapor Foundation, their liquid foundation. I was a big fan of their stick foundation. Then they did a whole bunch of reformulating and repackaging. They actually sent me their Atmosphere Foundation and that was one that I really enjoyed out of the couple that I've tried. So I'm going to keep this base pretty light because it's kind of midday and I'm going to be outside. This is a very kind of wearable look. You guys can tell how much I love the Kira Weiss Foundation. I've actually noticed that Kira Weiss has been on sale quite a bit and that a lot of retailers are running low um, in stock. So I don't know what that's about. Does anyone know what that's about? Are they doing something different and places are just trying to sell old inventory? What is going on with that? I'm very curious. Now that that's on, I'm going to do a little bit of concealer work. And two concealers have always stood out to me out of everything that I've tried. And that is the Ficlo Concealer and the Kosas Concealer, which is a more recent find. The Ficlo Concealer is great for blemishes, something pretty high coverage. And then the Kosas Concealer, which I'm applying right now underneath my eyes, is great for brightening, more of a natural look. And it's just a really great lightweight concealer. All right, guys, I had to go run and get the door really quick. So I looked a little bit kooky with some unblended concealer, but now I have blended it all in. And I just, like I said, I use the Kosas underneath my eyes, and then I really like the Ficlo to cover up any darker areas, any blemishes that I'm dealing with. It's just a little bit higher coverage, but the Kosas works really well for that too. So it just kind of depends where you find your best shade match and whether you want a more full coverage concealer or if you want something a little bit lighter. I did just recently do a video talking about three different concealers, two of which I just mentioned, and then the third was the Clove and Hallow concealer. So you guys can check that out if you're in need of a concealer. I'm going to be using the Eco Brow Brow Gel. This has quickly become a favorite and if you're needing a new brow gel I can definitely recommend it. I've had it forever and it has not gotten clumpy at all. In fact kind of oddly enough the opposite has happened. It's gotten a little bit thinner so I noticed that it doesn't hold my brows quite as much as it used to like when I initially got it but I've also had it for a very long time in fact maybe longer than they suggest to keep it but I have really enjoyed it and don't notice it getting clumpy. Don't notice build up in my brows. That just helps to kind of keep them in place. For my eyes I feel like I always recommend palettes for you guys but if you're looking for single eyeshadows, I absolutely love the Gressa Eye Tints. They're great. They are cream though, so they are prone to creasing. Not bother me. I just kind of blend them out throughout the day if they crease. But if that does bother you and you're just wanting like a single eyeshadow, the Alima Pure eyeshadow that I have tried in Icon is a beautiful silver color. Or these Kosas 10 second eyeshadows can be really fun to add into your makeup routine and today I'm going to be using this one in Copper Halo. I'm just going to give it a good shake and then apply some to my lid. I know it looks like a lot right now but as soon as you blend it out it becomes a lot lighter. And these are just a really fast easy way to add color. I have found like a lot of other people that the metallic shades are more pigmented versus the like kind of solid or more like matte shades but I love this color copper halo and then I also have Fahrenheit which is a red tone that I really really like. A couple of palette recommendations if you guys are interested are the Aether Beauty palettes. They're gorgeous. A nice sustainable brand to support too. Also local to me in San Francisco which is pretty cool. And then I also have really really been enjoying the Well People Nudist palettes that have launched earlier this year. They're all gorgeous and the shadows are very very pretty so highly recommend checking both of those brands out. I just moved the camera a little bit because the sun is quickly moving in the room that I'm filming uh, and I'm trying not to have too much shadow on this side of my face but this will fade even from what it is so that it just becomes a really pretty kind of wash of color and then going in with one of my favorite blushes that you can find at these retailers and that is the Kira Weiss blush in Reverence. I do believe that a lot of these are sold out but I forgot mascara. I'll go back in and do mascara after this. I do believe that the like actual full size of this is sold out but 
I think the last time I checked, I saw a few refills. So if you have been interested in this and you're wanting to try it, get the refill. And then all you need is kind of like a magnetic palette to stick it in. But you guys know that I love this blush. Some other cream blushes that are available at these retailers that I enjoy. The Kosas Eighth Muse palette was what I really used before this. Vapor has some great aura multi-use sticks. I actually was thinking about using this one in Spark. This is also a really great formula that I enjoy and is a little bit more affordable than Kier Weiss. And then Gressa also makes their luminous complexion fluids, which I keep saying I need to do a full review on. And that is kind of at the top of my list because I really think a lot of people don't talk about them. And they're such a wonderful product if you're looking for something really versatile that you can play with that adds really nice luminosity to your skin, uh, but some nice color too. I'm going to apply some mascara. This one unfortunately is not available at the retailers that I mentioned, but it is available at Credo and I hadn't had a chance to see if Credo is doing anything, but this is the Westman Atelier I Love You Mascara. A couple of mascaras that I really like from the other retailers are the Lily Lolo Original Formula a Vegan Black Mascara. That is a great one. And then also the new Wow People a volumizing expressionist mascara. I got a lot of smudging for whatever reason with the original formula of that, but I don't know why with the volumizing mascara, I don't get any smudging. I have no idea why, but I just don't. I'm taking a little bit of this underneath my lashes. For bronzers at this point, you guys know that one of my favorites is the Well People Bio Base Baked Bronzer. I just absolutely love it, but if you're looking for something a little bit less red or if you're looking for a good contouring powder, I always recommend the Han Skincare Cosmetics powder in Malibu. That is a great one. And then Kier Weiss also makes a really beautiful cream bronze you guys saw me use over on Instagram or IGTV a couple of weeks ago or a week ago. Is anyone else losing track of time? And that one's really pretty and subtle again, but this is one of my favorite powder bronzers. I just got the Kosas bronzer in the mail, so I'll be trying that and letting you guys know what I think. For highlighter, it's always hard to choose a favorite, but at the moment I have to go with either the Maya Chia highlight of the day. This is in the shade The Golden Hour, and then also the Vapor highlighting stick in Moonlight. Both really gorgeous, a little bit different, you get a little bit stronger of a highlight with the Maya Chia highlight of the day, whereas the Vapor one is very, very subtle, beautiful, has been a favorite of mine for years, but definitely subtle. So today I'm going to use the Maya Chia one. I gave it a good shake, applying it to the back of my hand, and then I'm actually going to take a brush and apply it today. Really beautiful. Still very natural, but you'll definitely see this one a little bit more. Lip products, always hard to choose, but because it's summer, I tend to go for like more lightweight lip product. The lip product that I was wearing in my Sephora video, I'm going to link down below because everyone always asks me what it was. It is a lip velvet from the brand Clove and Hollow and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I wear it all the time and always get a lot of compliments and it lasts so well. But if you're looking for more of like everyday lip colors, Rose Water from Kosas is beautiful, but I pulled out these three to potentially use today. The Thick Low Lip Serum and Nudie, one of my favorites. Actually, all these have been in my favorites videos, so these aren't going to come as a surprise. Uh, the Ritual Luffy Lip Shear in Narcissus, but I also have recently found White Thorn and love that one. Then the Mango Lip Honey from Airy Perez. I am very, very particular with glosses because I don't like the feel of them. This one is extremely comfortable and I really enjoy it. I think I'm going to go for kind of a nude brown today and that is going to be Narcissus and apply that so comfortable it's easy to apply definitely an orangey look I need a little bit more bronzer and then my final and most recent favorite has been the setting powder from Ilia this is the fade into you finishing powder and it's really really lightweight. I'm pretty skeptical of setting powders because I feel like they really cling to dry areas and as someone with kind of like dehydrated oily textured skin I have to be careful about which powders I use but this one feels really good and weightless. It does such a nice job setting products. It works beautifully with their new SPF product. I would highly recommend getting both of these if you are someone who's worried about the shine in the SPF product. And yeah, that is the finished look today. I hope I gave you guys some suggestions along the way of products to check out. Like I said, if there's a specific category and I didn't cover it today, or you have a question about a product and whether or not I'd recommend it, leave me a comment down below and I will try my best to answer it. 
or find an answer for you in time uh, for you to enjoy the sale. I have all the retailers and like the specific discounts linked down below. Again, a huge thank you if you choose to shop using those links. It really means a lot to me. And yeah, it's just a way that you guys can support my channel and support these videos coming up every week. So happy shopping. If you're choosing not to shop, that's totally fine too. I hope you just enjoyed this video and kind of getting ready with me and seeing these products in action. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night and I will see you all next week. All right, guys, I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.